The side plate field bolted moment frame connection is the latest in innovations by side plate systems. Using the side plate system speeds up the steel fabrication and erection processes and reduces the overall cost of construction. With the side plate system, as with all other structural systems, the field erection process begins by first confirming that the anchor bolts and elevations are set correctly, then erecting a series of moment frame columns. Side plate columns are typically two stories, but can be either one or three stories as well, depending on the project specific design requirements. The columns arrive at the site with the side plates and top supporting deck angles already attached to the column. In addition, a temporary construction aid has been welded on the bottom edge of the side plates at the shop in order to maintain the required clear distance at the top edge of the side plates, which allows the installation of the moment frame beam. Using industry standard techniques, such as a lifting lug or a pair of chokers as shown here, lift the column from the ground and into position. A column will typically have either one or two moment frame beams framing into the side plate connection, referred to as a one-sided or two-sided side plate connection. Care should be given to one-sided connections and properly rigging the column as the center of gravity will likely be slightly off from the column's center line. Moment frame beams have a top cover plate and a pair of bottom angles. The top cover plate bolt holes are horizontally slotted for ease of bolt installation. One or more beams can be lifted into position. Depending on project conditions, typically one connector at each end of the beam will receive the beam, or in some cases, both connectors will be at one end. The connectors will guide the beam down in between the side plates. A properly shop-installed temporary construction aid at the bottom of the side plates is what makes it possible for a smooth beam installation. Next, quickly install two of the top bolts at each end prior to releasing the crane. With moment frame columns and beams installed, the next step is to stuff all of the A490 bolts through the vertically slotted holes in the side plate and the standard holes in the angles. The number of bolts required at each end is typically dependent on the weight of the beam with most projects averaging about 12 to 16 bolts per beam end. The most commonly used bolt diameter is 1 and 1 8 inches. The temporary construction aid at the bottom of the side plates should be removed at this stage. Once the building is plumb, the bolts are now ready to be tightened. The field bolting installation of a side plate connection is now complete and decking can be fully installed. It should be noted that column splices are specified by the engineer of record. To preclude concrete from flowing through the beam to column gap when pouring the floor, the general contractor will typically install a light gauge metal strip across the gap and spot weld as shown. For projects that require fireproofing, standard sprayed-on fire-resistive material shall be applied to side plate connections. The thickness shall be just like that of a pipe or tube column section with a constant wall thickness using the thickness of the side plate. The contractor should install some type of backing, such as a light gauge metal strip between the side plates and the beam's web so as not to fill in this void behind the side plates with fireproofing. Thank you for your interest in the side plate field bolted moment connection. We hope that this short video has been of help to you and look forward to working with you on your next steel project. <laughs>